Alright, so to start, we're going to turn the calculator on. That's located on the bottom left-hand side. It says on. Now, you may be wondering how do you turn it off. You would hit second and hit the on key. That turns it off. Okay. So, understand that everything in the white, you just have to press the button for. Anything in yellow, you'd have to press the second key first. Okay. All right, now, we need to type all the numbers in. So where do I do that at? We're going to press Stat. We're going to go to Edit, number one. We're going to press Stat and go to Edit, number one. Now, you'll notice I have numbers in my list. You may or may not have numbers there. In the event that you have numbers there, you want to clear them off. In the event that you don't, then you're going to have them soon enough and you need to clear them anyway. So how do you clear a list? You're going to move your cursor. Right now, the cursor is right here on 110. You can see that if I move up and down, the cursor is on 110. You're going to move it to the top of the list where it says L2. And your cursor will go from 110 to the L2. Notice when you do that, all the numbers go down at the bottom. And you want to clear those numbers off. So hit clear and then press enter. And that will get rid of those numbers in the list. To get rid of the numbers in L1, move it over. Now your cursor's on the top of the list for L1. Move it up, press clear, and hit enter. Whatever you do, do not press delete. If you press delete and you do not press clear, you keep deleting all the lists and eventually you won't have any. Way to go. Okay. And the event that that happens, your instructor will be happy to get it back for you. They will be assessed a $75 tech conference. <coughs> I'm, look, I'm a business fan. I'm sorry. I need to eat out a lot. Stat, edit, and now we're back to it. Okay. So please don't press delete. Press clear. All right, at this point, we're going to type in the numbers. Now, enter after each one. Don't do what I see some people do. They go like this, 4, 11. No, don't do that. It's 4, enter, 11, enter, 3, enter, 6, enter, 5, enter, 2, enter, 1, enter, 4, 2, 3, 6, 3, 1. We just typed in all 13 numbers. All right. At this point, I'm going to press pause and give everybody a chance to type them all in. All right. So we're back, and we are going to uh, – we've now got all the numbers typed in. So at this point, we're going to press stat. Look at just below the delete key, stat. And you're going to move it over to the right one space where it says calc. So you're going to go to the right one space. It says calc. And you're going to do one variable statistics, option number one. So you'll either press one or you'll just press enter. Either way, it doesn't matter. Yes, sir. This is after you've typed all the numbers in. Once you've typed them all in, <laughs> stat. Calc, one variable statistics. Assuming you have them in the L1, you can just press enter. And notice what it tells you. The, um, the average, the mean is 3.9. Notice what it says here, SX. SX is 2.7 or 2.69. That's the standard deviation. That is what you get in place of doing those two formulas. And so people will ask me all the time, well, if I can do the calculator, do I have to know the formulas? No. No one ever uses the formulas, ever. If you do, you should learn how to use technology. It's much easier. <laughs> okay? Is that going to be like, would that be on the calculator portion, though? Because if it's not, then we have to know the formulas. Very good point. The question that Haley brings up, not that I'm calling you out, Haley, but you're on the Internet now. Hashtag lucky you. Um, the, the point that Haley brings up is if this is on the non-calculator portion, I'm screwed. 
In statistics, we do not have a calculator, non-calculator portion. In statistics, we only have a calculator portion. Everything we do in this class, you can use the calculator for. So the answer to your question is, if you have a calculator like the TI-83, the TI-84, it gives you the answers, know how to use it. You get the answers directly. Now, on question three, it asks you to find the mean, the median, the mode. Remember that? It's also going to ask you to find standard deviation. Well, how do you find the mean? The calculator gives it to you. How do you find standard deviation? Calculator gives it to you. If you scroll down, you press the down key, it tells you MED. Anybody know what that stands for? It gives you the median. The calculator gives it to you. So on question three, you're asked to find basically four things. The mean, the median, the mode, and the standard deviation. The calculator will give you three of the four. And the only one it doesn't give you is the mode. Now, some of you will look at that and go like this. Jackass. Why didn't it give me all the answers? It gives you three of the four, and the only one it doesn't give you is when it occurs most often. If you need to calculate and figure out which one shows up the most, you probably ain't passed anyway. Okay? With that being said, that's how you use the calculator. Standard deviation is SX, 3.69.